One of the winners of the COVID-19 economy in 2020 has been Shopify. Shares of Shopify are up about 144% year to date as of Friday, even after last week's drop. Let's look at a couple of ways of limiting our risk in the event Shopify drops over the next several months. The first thing we do in the Portfolio Armor iPhone app is enter the symbol SHOP. Then we enter a number of shares. Here I'll enter 100. And then we enter the largest decline we're willing to risk over the time frame of the hedge. Here, since we're up 144% year to date, I'll enter 25%. And next we decide on the time frame of the hedge. It can be as short as expiring next week or as far out as two years from today. And what I'll do is I'll pick our default, which aims for the hedge expiring closest to six months out. And here is the optimal put hedge to protect against a greater than 25% decline in Shopify by April 16th. As you can see here, the cost was $16,350, or 16.8% of position value. That was calculated conservatively using the ask price of the puts. In practice, you can often buy and sell options at some price between the bid and ask. So your actual cost would probably have been a little bit lower, but still 16.8% of position value is fairly expensive. Let's look at how we can lower that. One way is to indicate that we're willing to cap our possible upside over the same time frame. So here I've indicated we're willing to cap it at 35% and we'll keep everything else the same. And now we're presented with an optimal collar. And this will protect us against the same greater than 25% decline. But here the cost is negative meaning we would collect a net credit of $1,200 when opening this collar, or 1.2% of position value uh, would be our negative hedging cost. Now, if we take that and add it to our cap of 35%, that means our upside between now and mid-April would actually be 36.23%, and we'd be down 25% in the worst case scenario. So in the worst case scenario,